Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Madam Rosmaya. In this video, we are going to discuss on uncertainties in measurement. At the end of this lesson, you will you will be able to calculate uncertainties in a derived quantity and write derived data to appropriate number of significant figures. Okay, the main purpose of error analysis is to check whether the result of experiment agrees with a theoretical prediction or results from other experiments or not. Generally speaking, a measured result agrees with a theoretical prediction if the prediction lies within the range of experimental uncertainty. Two rules using differentiation in calculating the error. The first rule, if the derived uh, equation is in the form uh, of y equals to a plus minus b so the uncertainties or error will be delta y equals to delta a plus delta b second rule if the derived equation is in this form uh, y equals to k a to the power of m b to the power of n per c to the power of r so the error uh, using differentiation rule, so we get delta y per y equals to uh, m delta a per a uh, plus n delta b per b and plus uh, r delta c per c. So we cross multiply y to the right side becomes m uh, in bracket m delta a per a plus n delta b per b plus r delta c per c times y. Okay, so the result, uh, the value of y will be written as y plus minus delta y. Okay, this delta y. Okay, delta y must be written in one significant figure. And y must be written down in the number of decimal place according to delta y. Okay, example. Let's say in the experiment... Uh, you you are going to measure uh, the current uh, flow through R1 okay, uh, which is I1 and the current flow through R2 which is I2 so we close uh, the switch here and we get the value of I1 equals to 3.4 plus plus minus 0 0.2 ampere so this is the absolute error for uh, I1 0.2 so i2 using the same emitter so we get uh, the reading let's say 6.6 uh, .6 plus minus 0.2 ampere so this is absolute error uh, which is the smallest reading of this uh, emitter okay the smallest reading here written as uh, 0 0.2 eh? 0 0.2 yeah Okay, so we are going to uh, determine I. Okay? So from the Kirchhoff law, uh, the first rule. Okay, so the I uh, equals to I1 plus I2. Okay, from the conservation of charge. So the current I is the flow, uh, rate of flow of charge. So when it pass through this junction and split into two, so the I equals to this I1 plus I2. So, 3.4 plus 6.6. .6. So, we get 10.0 ampere. Okay, then uh, the uncertainties or error. So, these two errors, 0 0.2 and 0 point, I2 also has uh, error 0 0.2. So, because of the uh, derived quantity here, I uh, is written in the form of first rule. Okay, we go to here, the first rule here, A plus minus B. So, we just add the error. So, that's been the error is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2. So, we get 0 0.4. So, how to write the value of I? Okay, this 10.0 plus minus uh, 0 0.4. Okay, because uh, 0 0.4 is in one significant figure already. 
So that mean uh, the I must be written in one decimal number uh, according to uh, the error here. Okay. Or in other word, uh, both of them uh, must have same number of decimal place. Okay. Next, we try the second example. Okay, the following readings were obtained by a student to determine the density of metal of a cylinder. So, length of the cylinder is 20.0 plus minus 0.1 cm. Diameter of the cylinder 18.0 plus minus 0.1 mm. And the mass of cylinder is 513 plus, plus minus 1 gram. So, we are going to calculate the density of the metal to the correct number of significant pages. Okay, so the solution, uh, we calculate the density first. So, let's say length represent by letter L, diameter D and mass M. So, the formula for density, okay, the derived equation is uh, density equals to M per V, rho equals to M per V. So, there's no volume here, so we need to expand this volume. So, this is a cylinder, a cylindrical shape, so we use the formula for volume uh, pi r squared l and then uh, r not given but diameter is given so r is equals to diameter per 2 so the density is equals to m per pi uh, bracket diameter per 2 squared times uh, l okay so we rewrite as uh, d here d squared per 4 Okay, so we substitute all this value, uh, 513 gram, and then the diameter convert to uh, centimeter, eh, convert to centimeter, because we use length 20 here in centimeter. So, 18.0 times 10 to the power of negative 1 eh, centimeter. Then, don't forget squared divided by 4. So, we get the answer for density is 10.080 gram per centimeter cube. So, we uh, we need to write this uh, density uh, to the correct number of significant figures. So, we need to find the error first. Okay, we keep this value first. Next, we are going to determine the error or uncertainties. So, let's say the uh, uncertainties uh, represent by delta L for L, uh, for diameter delta D and for mass of cylinder delta M. And for the density is delta rho. Okay, this is error in density. So, from the equation here, uh, involve multiplication and and division so we use second rule okay we use second rule to determine the uh, error or uncertainties okay so that mean uh, delta rho per rho then m uh, equals to uh, delta m per m plus pi is constant so no need to write so 2 delta d per d uh, 4 is a constant and finally l delta l per l Okay, so we add all this error and substitute all the values. Uh, delta rho, we are going to determine this, eh, delta rho divided by. So the rho density is 10.080. Delta M uh, is, uh, delta M, okay. So delta M is uh, 1 and the mass is 513. Okay, next, uh, diameter error for diameter is 0 0.1 delta D substitute into here and lastly okay lastly is uh, length eh? 0 0.1 is the error 20 uh, is the length okay so uh, we cross multiply so we get the answer uh, delta rho is 0 0.182 gram per centimeter Okay, so we cannot write the error uh, like this because we need to write it in one significant figure. Eh? So the error here must be written in one significant figure. So 0 0.182, we write as 0 0.2. Okay, so 0 0.2 here is written in uh, one significant, uh, one decimal place.
eh? because one significant feature give you one decimal place so therefore the density here 10.080 must be written in uh, one decimal place also okay so remember that uh, the rules here both must have same number of decimal place that's why we write as 10.1 plus minus 0 0.2 okay both have same number of decimal place Okay, next, uh, note that the density is written down into the first decimal place because error occurs in the first decimal place. Okay, to determine the percentage error, uh, so this 0 0.2, okay, uh, divided by the density here times 100. So, we get uh, 1.98% so this is the percentage error okay so that's all for the video uh, thank you for watching